Good morning and welcome to episode 2 of Lundy Guillemot's 2009. This is a summary of the videos from the 3rd of June in 2009 when the first chick appeared on the ledge at St Philipstone Lundy. The first chicks are very small so they're quite difficult to see and often the only thing you see is a small movement underneath the um, adult's wing. Uh, so the bird in the centre of this picture uh, has, you can see some movements underneath the left wing and the top. Sometimes it's just the adult moving its wing, but sometimes you can see a little edge of a beak poking out from underneath where the adult's got the chick tucked underneath for once. Very occasionally you can actually see the chick here when the chick is being repositioned and you get a bit small glimpse of the chick underneath the adult. It's still quite small and sometimes when you see the end of the beak you see a little white dot on the end which is the remains of the egg tooth uh, the hardened calcified uh, point at the end of the beak which helps the chick to break out of its egg. I've been following this particular ledge for 10 years uh, and each site, each pair has got an identification header. Uh, so I've also identified the chicks by giving them a name related to that identification letter. Uh, so this year the chick for um, site Jeff, the chick for site J, uh, is called Hereth. Um, chose um, towns in Europe for this year's, as a theme for this year's chicks. I'm not the only one watching the chicks. Um, there's plenty of gulls and crows around. Some of them flying over on the search to find eggs or chicks. And you can see all the adults moved around and pointed towards the direction that the gull was moving in. And here, if you look carefully, there's going to be a bit of eggshell falling from above. There's another ledge of guillemots above this site. Uh, and that could have been uh, a gull managing to get an egg there, or pushing an egg off, or, or possibly even uh, uh, a chick hatching and its adult um, pushing the eggshell off the top of the, the ledge there. Um, here you see another egg from this colony. Um, some sites are easier to see the chicks um, and the eggs. Um, this site, site G, it's got quite a bit of space between its neighbours uh, and therefore it's one of the ledges where we quite often see an egg. Uh, some of the other sites um, Q underneath on the lower ledge and B further along to the left out of picture here uh, are more difficult. But it's nice to, to see the eggs and, and see the, the different colour variations. If I can't see the eggs. Uh, I have to make to watching the behaviour of the adults and seeing whether they, they look like they have something precious underneath them. Once you've watched them for quite a few years you tend to notice this difference in spring behaviour. The other time to see them is when the adults are preening and they quite often move the, the egg when they've finished preening themselves. Uh, but sometimes it's only a glimpse like here with the egg underneath um, and the adults inside here. Most of the pairs on the ledge this day, there's only one member of each pair and the other one's out to sea. Uh, but on occasion the uh, other adult comes back, flies in uh, and greets its partner. 
As you see, it's got an open bill, so there's no fish in its mouth this time. And we do a little greeting call. Um, you can tell which one's been at sea and which one's been sat on the ledge for a while uh, by the, the colour and the cleanness of the birds. So the one that's been at sea is nice and clean and well cleaned, whereas the one that's been sitting on the ledge, possibly overnight, uh, is more heavily sold. There's another ledge above this ledge, so uh, it's best sometimes to be the bird at the top of the ledge because you um, can to do everything on the ledge uh, and the lower birds are dirty. Um, and then after a while the pair will change over the incubation duties uh, and the first bird will, will fly off. Again here's sight, um, bird returning to sight at R. Again, open bill to start with, so no fish. Again you see the, the cleaner bird swapping over incubation duties with the more sword bird. Can't actually tell whether it's a, ch a chick or an egg here. Um, it's probable that it's an egg. Um, less likely that there's a chick because the adult didn't bring a fish. Sometimes the, the first sign you know that there's a chick underneath a pair of adults is a, a fish coming back um, and then that fish disappearing very quickly as it's eaten by the chick. And then the first bird R then flies off at 45 minutes, uh, 47 minutes after it arrived. things I've been measuring over the years that I've been studying this ledge is the amount of time uh, both adults are on the ledge um, with the chick or with the egg. Um, the, the longer they stay, um, the less hungry they are and the, the less food the chick needs. Um, so I keep a track of how many minutes uh, the birds are on the, the ledge. Uh, when they start feeding the chicks, they can come back uh, and only stay a minute or so, or sometimes they'll stay for, for the whole time that I'm watching. Uh, the bird flying off here is number um, pair I, and one of this pair has a metal ring, but not this one that's just about to fly out. Um, this one was ringed as a chick over at Great Salty off the um, so not the one that's flying off, the one that's in the top right hand corner has a metal ring on its leg and it's ringed as a chick over in Great Salty off the Oxford coast. Um, this pair at the front and the bottom right, um, I call them pair T. I've seen them with an egg once in four years, um, but I'm not actually sure whether this is it's a proper pair. Um, as well as the regular visitors to the, the site. Uh, sometimes you get unidentified birds coming in for a, a few seconds or a few minutes and then flying off again. You've just got to tell by the behaviour between the, the pairs. So there has been some interaction between these two birds, but now they're sort of ignoring each other. Usually you'd expect uh, more preening, more calling between the pairs. Uh, but we never know. Guillemots seem to recognise each other better than we do. Looks like it's been pushed off the ledge by the other part, which makes me think it, it wasn't a pair. Sometimes there's fights between birds um, on the 
right is the, the bird that just pushed out the other pair, the other partner. Uh, and on the left is a, a bird that involves pair P. Um, Guillemots have to be have a balance between being aggressive uh, and protecting their chicks and their eggs from predators uh, and being communal so that they have other pairs on the same ledge as them that are also helping to protect their, their chick and their egg. Um, so they will have fights, um, sometimes quite vicious fights, um, but then after a while they may stop fighting and then five minutes later you might see the pair that was fighting preening each other. Um, there's various little behavioural um, adaptations to colonial living. Uh, sometimes at the end of a fight you'll see birds um, stop and clean on the other side of their bodies. Um, just moving the bill away from a, a place that might cause aggression. Here's another unidentified bird flying in. Um, again, no response from any birds next door um, to say that it's a member of a pair or you know, my mate. Uh, just looking around, seeing what's available. and pushes it off. This one was more interesting. A bird flying from, uh, falling in from the top right. There's a, a narrow sort of shelf on the top right of this ledge where birds tend to congregate. I'm not sure if any of them are related to plants. But this one actually came in with a fish exactly to the site in um, J where, they, where this first chick was. Um, so I'm thinking that that bird had a fish, it wasn't a mated pair, uh, but it felt the need to feed a chick. So it attempted to, to fly in, see that chick, give it its fish, um, but the adult wasn't having anything, um, so it flew away again. So that's some of the behaviour that we saw, the highlight of the behaviours um, for that day, the 3rd of June. 2019. Um, all the, the unedited video for this day, all two hours of it, is also now on YouTube. You can have a look through that and see more of the behaviour uh, and see it in um, as it happened rather than edited, edited together. Like have now. And the next set of videos will be coming out on the 6th of June. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Thank you.